Um, let's start a video. Commands and Iron Jaws. Tron Bone. With some ragers. Thanks to all the patrons. You guys are the real bosses. Wybarian for the channel art. Specifically the logo. Right? The Moss Dog MDG logo. That's Wybarian stuff. And Baron of Dice. Good way to support the channel. Iron Jaw commands. Okay, so TLDR, uh, all out attack. <laughs> like, <laughs> TLDR, all out attack. All right, hero phase command, so rally. So I'm kind of like on the fence with rally right now. Um, the thing is that you definitely, you don't get to do it if you're in combat. And I feel like a lot of the melee units spend most of the game in combat now, right? I feel like unless you're going up against like a big beefcake unit, like a big smashy unit in Iron Jaws, right? It's like um, your dudes are spending multiple turns in combat. So this will help protect against chip damage, against like if someone has like a lot of shooting, or if somebody has, um, like, ranged AoE, mortal wounds, stuff like that, right? So, I think situationally, this can be good. Rally can be good. But it's really going to depend on the map. But I think overall, generally, I would rate it relatively low. It's pretty good for brutes. Um, because you can recur one back if you have three. And that's the average. So, like, on average, you're going to get a model back. So, that's pretty good. So... From there, yep, I mean, it's fine. You can heal up some wizards if they're getting uh, beat up, right? Those little foot casters, right? They have decent saves. Magical Intervention, I think, is strong. Magical Intervention is probably strong in every army because it's good with Manifestations. So if you can cast Manifestations, then I think Magical Intervention is good. Plus one casters make this a lot better. Plus one casters, I think, matter. More, because so f correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but the way that I'm understanding the way that places of power and plus one casters work, right, is places of power just give plus one to cast and not to unbind and not to banishments. And the same thing with some casters, not all, but some. So it means that if you're standing at a place of power and you're casting, you might be on plus two, but then the places of power and the bonuses don't actually apply to unbinds and banishments. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But uh, it means that casting your spells with plus two against no bonuses to unbind is really strong. It's like you're likely to get your manifestations off. So if you're like a plus two caster, magical intervention's really good. A swamp kala standing next to a uh, place of power. It's good for a weird knob too. Like getting plus one, it's important for the same reason, right? Redeploy, I think, is going to be a big one for us just because we're slow, and so anything that adds movement to Iron Jaws is important. And especially if you have Eye for Defight, like if you're not redeploying, then you're not taking advantage of an Eye for Defight, right? That combined with Mighty Destroyers, it's like, think about it like it's at least another four inch move, right? Like redeploying just like on your opponent's turn, just forward and just being like, boop, like closer. Right? Because it's like, you the you want the uh, Ard Boys to get charged. Right? So, because that's primarily who I think you're going to be redeploying. Because they're going to be the ones that are in the center of the fight, right? So, um, yeah, redeploys are strong in Iron Jaws. Big fan. At the double, um, probably not as much, to be honest. I think that the redeploy is just stronger because it's a minimum of four. And a run is like, you still a, a roll. You'll use it sometimes to score tactics maybe but like you'll score it you'll use this sometimes but probably not super often um covering fire well nothing to do there right that's a freebie counter charge is strong i think everyone's starting to understand uh how strong counter charge is and how it it's like often worth it for two points that's how i'm seeing um the game right now so and and also just like as a threat like holding it up which again is a reason that going second in the phase is really strong because you can sort of like hold your counter charge or much earlier in the process. So, um, but really good and strong and like good for tactics and good for or denying tactics, all kinds of things like, yeah. Uh, don't forget too that the pigs also gain momentum from charging. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And again, just like a slow army. So anything that gives us movement is strong. So counter charge is good in Iron Jaws for sure. Like brutes going in and the, like turning them off of objectives is pretty cool. 
Um, and then we will re-roll charges when we need to, right? Like, you hopefully never have to use this, right? Uh, All-out defense? Maybe. This is going to be situational. Depends on what our opponent's throwing at us. If it's a bunch of rend, like, we can stay pretty good. If it's only one rend, like, going to two-up saves is pretty strong. Like, I kind of feel like that for the Ard Boys right now. Like, if you have a, a brick of reinforced Ard Boys. Uh, I'm really, I'm liking Zogrok right now. I haven't really put him on the table, but just the more I think about the game and the more that I process it, I'm hoping to put him on the table tonight. But, um... So, like, they're dealing mortal wounds just with a lot of dice. Right? And don't forget that the Wa also synergizes with that too. So they're just dealing mortal wounds. And then you don't really all-out attack them because they're... Um, you just use you all out defense them instead and so they're on twos if your opponent's throwing no rend at you right you're just on twos like okay like all your cheap damage isn't getting through you need something actually good to get through this but you'll never rally them because they're they're in combat the whole time another reason why that art boy boss is not very good like you're not rallying and you're you're gonna shield bash once it's like okay and then that's it so this one roll that is very good, you get fives and sixes. It's like, alright. Um, cool, power through is also sick for us for the same reason that the big pigs on the flank are going to love to charge in and power through and just keep moving. Like, it's another D3 mortal damage. I played a game yesterday where I did, it was with a vulture boss, right? But still a monster, still power through. It, there was one model left in the unit. And then I killed it and then was able to fly away. And the pigs are pretty fast too. So they can put themselves in really scary positions. Like, if you're going second and you do this at the end of your turn before the round's over, then hopefully your opponent is going next and you're holding four command points and you're holding up a counter charge. Right? And you're like, okay, your turn. And it's like, my pig's, like, pretty close to you and I, I hope you wanted to fight it because here it is. And it's a hacking crew, right? And so it's gonna, like, mighty destroyers at you, first of all. So maybe it can even get you into combat where then it can use its ability in the movement phase to like power up its momentum and move even further like it's quite strong so i think that the big pigs on the flank is something that's going to make iron jaws difficult to deal with strike last on one side and then the ability to like jump around on the other side is really uh, strong yep really really strong and the hacky crew doesn't need any buffs from anybody it can go anywhere it wants to it can dance all over the map doesn't matter, just crashing into hopefully their general. So, yep, big fan. Big fan. Um, cool, so that's all of them. So if I had to kind of like think about them, like if I had to pick four. Oh yeah, and then I wanted to save all out attack for the variant. Everything hits on force. So you want to be using all out attack as often as possible. You don't have to use it on um, Ard Boys because they're going to get Zogrok. So we're not going to rely on all-out attack for the Ard Boys to deal damage. They're just going to deal mortal wounds. They're going to do the thing that would kill Ard Boys. Like a reinforced brick of Ard Boys, right? It's like if we only have one rend against them, right? So it would be... Um, the save is bad, so we're just going to deal mortal wounds. And hopefully just like grind away at our opponent consistently. And don't forget too that Zogrok, the buff lasts for until the beginning of your next turn. So you're going to get two combats worth of grinding out... Uh, mortal wounds against your opponent and then if you do the plus the extra damage right plus one damage to the yard boys this is going to double and then the, their the rest of their damage is going to double it's just consistency right you just sort of grind you just grind them through with mortal wounds and then you can save your all-out attack for your brutes your big pigs right that's where your actual hammers like you don't use all-out attack on your anvils you use you use all-out defense on your anvils and on your hammers, you use all out attack. You pick good fights, right? Big pigs. If you're gonna play a mega boss, right? Brutes, ragers love all all out attack. And if your opponent's playing minus one to hit, then it just becomes like attacks that you have to pay. So you're like, okay, two all out attacks and a counter charge, right? Two all attacks and a magical intervention. So if I was gonna rate them, like if I was gonna pick, I was gonna pick four, right? So redeploy. Magical Intervention might be the fifth one I cut. We'll see. No, you know what? Magical Intervention on Prayers is something I totally forgot. Magical Intervention on Prayers is amazing. You just generate points. And don't forget, too, that Kill Beat only works the turn that you use it. So you can save it and use it on your opponent's turn if you want to. Like, because Ard Boys get charged 
and then get extra rend and shield bash. So if you can also throw plus one damage on top of that. And they have Zogrok, right? It's like suddenly, you know, sixes are two mortals. So you roll, so, you know, there's 41 dice that you throw. So it can deal a surprising large number of mortal wounds with plus uh, one damage. So that's actually really strong. So redeploy magical intervention for sure. And then from here, it's like, well, all out attack, all out attack. And then counter charge is like, as when you need it, probably instead of two all out, all out attacks. Uh, or like, so like redeploy is quite good. Magical intervention is quite good. All out attack, power through, and then counter charge. So those would be the top five, I'd say. If, if, the, if that's what I'm doing, it's probably good. But all out attack is, is kind of a tax. Right? It's, it's sort of like that's where our army is weak, is that we have bad to hits. That's how you beat orcs, by the way. You just give them minus one to hit. Which is why we need those mortal wounds, too. Because if we're getting minus one to hit, it's like, well... Like, what do you do on Ard Boys if you're getting minus one to hit? Do you just, like, use all-out attack on them all the time and not on your other units? It's like, no. Like, the, the fight in the middle is really important right now. The way that I'm feeling the game right now is that there's three real fights. There's the flanks, and there's the middle. So, and, uh... And the three of them together represent three battle tactics, plus whatever primaries the map is on. Okay? And then there's all your flanks. So... You have to try to win all three of those fights. The middle tends to be, like, you know, some, some slow heroes and, like, some infantry that the heroes are buffing. And then the flanks are, like, whatever, if people have flanks. So yeah, that's, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Did I hit, um, are you kind of agreeing with me here or disagreeing with me? Uh, continue the conversation in the Discord. I'm sure people will disagree with everything. <laughs> like, subscribe, blah.